diamonds, emeralds, sapphire, ruby. Could have been my little baby, but little mama don't sue me. As you can see from the title of the video, this is how to clean your keyboard. To start off, I have a Corsair Strafe Mark II with Cherry MX Reds. Now what you're going to need to complete this task is you're going to need a toothbrush, your key puller, a piece of paper towel, and some isopropyl alcohol. No lower than 70%. So 70 to 90% is good. And if you can get your hands on it or if you have it laying around the house, you would want to use preferably some canned air or pressurized air. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have any on hand, uh, so I'll just be roughing it and just uh, huffing and puffing in between the keys, but I'll show you what I mean by that. And uh, yeah, we'll go right into the next step. I'll be right back. So as you can see, there's a bit of um, like dead skin and in some places even hair and some grime you just take a cheap little toothbrush get in between those switches loosen up the dirt and then uh what you're going to want to do is go back through this with like a can of air or something actually yeah you want a can of air a can of pressurized air and uh want to blow this dust and uh all these dirt particles from in between Kind of awkward to do with the camera in one hand, but um, so I'll just be back when it's done. So we're back. Uh, as you can see, it came along pretty nicely in between those switches. Looks pretty clean. Uh, still a bit of dirt and grime left between some of them. Uh, so I'm, of course, going to go through again. Uh, you do as many pass-throughs as you feel you need to. Um, yeah, if you do not have canned air or pressurized air, then you might just have to pretend you're the big bad wolf for a second and huff and puff to get some of that dirt and grime from between the switches and then you move on to the next step which is taking your isopropyl alcohol uh, i have 70 percent here and you're going to dab it onto the little piece of paper towel and then you're going to wipe down those keys and then you're going to reapply them when you're done and i'll be back all right so we're back with the finished product uh one thing i have laying on my keyboard uh wrist rest right here is a microfiber cloth you might want to use this to get a little bit more dust off going over the keycaps with that paper towel may leave some uh, fibers from that uh, paper towel so just to get more of that off you can use this fi uh, microfiber cloth like i've stated however it's not going to get every little piece of dust off um, once it comes out the box it's doomed to get dirty so that's what it is as long as it's sanitary and uh, working properly that's really what you want um so yeah that's why i decided to do this with the flashlight on so you can really see what's going on with those keys and keycaps but you can probably see this little bit of dust going by the screen as i'm recording so it just depends on what's going on you're going to find dust in anyone's house and home it's just it's normal so i challenge anyone out there to making videos of cleaning their keyboards just make sure you got that flashlight on when you're cleaning you know to show people it's not going to be perfect Okay, so to wrap this up, this is what my keyboard looks like uh, with no lighting in the room and just the lighting off of the keyboard. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's pretty good lighting. Um, let's see. I can make it it's as bright as it goes. And let's do a quick sound test. I know some people really enjoy that type of stuff. Uh, so yeah, let's do a sound test on the Cherry MX Reds. So yeah, let me know if you want more stuff like this and uh, I'll catch you in the next one, Kim Squad. I'm gone.